So, she's in town. Does Chloe know? No, she still thinks her mother is dead. I see. With her roaming town, how long do you think you can keep that a secret? Yulia doesn't want Chloe to know. An accidental meeting is unlikely. She'll stay clear of the university and the house. Are you certain? I know her too well, but that also doesn't mean I'll let my guard down. If there's one thing about Yulia, it's that she can be as unpredictable as she is persistent. I've heard a lot of stories about the social justice warrior. Are you certain you can handle her on your own? I can assign someone to watch the house. No, Chloe takes after her mother when it comes to seeing details. She'll catch on quickly that something isn't right. All right, but I'm still sending officers out to look for her nonetheless. What kind of cop would I be if I just allowed a known assassin to roam the streets of the city unchallenged? Tell them to use extreme caution, and don't attempt to arrest her alone. Ilya is extremely formidable, more than a match for a few police officers. If even half the stories I've heard are true, then I'm only assigning my best cops to this assignment. They'd better be good, Ilya is a one-woman army. I should know, I'm the one that made her that way. Hey Chloe, what are you working on? Well sis, I'm trying to figure something out. Oh, what's that? Well, the Call of Duty trailer got a lot of dislikes. People complained it looked like more of the same old thing, but with a different setting. Well, yes, the franchise has sort of worn out its welcome. Yet, the new Doom doesn't do anything to really innovate and people are giving it praise. Well, does that make it a bad game? Actually, that's the thing. Doom is really good. There are some new additions to the gameplay, but overall it sticks to the spirit of the original. Well, I think I see what you're trying to say. The game has a formulaic gameplay style. A formulaic style? I have to make dinner. Why don't you go ask Fanbot to explain it? I think I will. What are we having tonight? The professor seemed a little down yesterday, so I decided to make his favorite. Chicken spaghetti. Yes. It always lifts his spirits. Fanbot, could you beam me up please? Acknowledged, Mistress Chloe. Fanbot, my sister and I were talking about Call of Duty and Doom. How COD Infinite Warfare was criticized for being more of the same thing. But Doom didn't innovate but has been very well received. I'm trying to understand what the difference is. What did Mistress Janice say? She said Doom was formulaic. A game does not always need to innovate in order to be good. There is game design methodology called complexity from simplicity. Such games are often formulaic, meaning they introduce a formula for gameplay and stick to it without adding needless complexity. Kind of like... Minecraft? That would be one example. On the opposite side, you have a game like Fallout 4 which throws many different kinds of gameplay styles at a player, without using a formula to ease them into those gameplay styles, but rather drops them into them abruptly without much of a learning curve. That doesn't necessarily make Fallout 4 bad, but simply highlights some of its design deficiencies. So... Doom's simple formula is what results in more complex gameplay. Affirmative. While the game offers new things not seen in the original, it does so without making them needlessly complicated. The controls are simple. All the weapons control the same way. The glory kill mechanic is easy to execute without complex button presses, and so on and so forth. This design philosophy can be applied to games with wide variety of gameplay options. Subnautica is another which transitions between first person and vehicle gameplay, without the transition being jarring, and uses the same controls. But, isn't there more to it than just having the same controls for different parts of the game? Absolutely. Most games that are formulaic follow a pattern and stick to that pattern. For Doom, it is a changing sequence of room encounters. You enter an area and battle demons, defeat them, then move on to the next area where you face more demons, and so on and so forth. What keeps this repetition from being monotonous is changes in environment and the kinds of demons you fight. Also, you break up the repetition with challenges, 
such as the rune challenges, and exploration to find hidden secrets scattered throughout each map. So, what makes Doom different from Call of Duty is that it follows a firm gameplay formula, and doesn't overcomplicate it by suddenly throwing new play mechanics at the gamer. Affirmative. What about innovation though? Innovate where it is needed. Don't try to reinvent the wheel. If something is done a certain way in a game, find a new way of doing it without making it too complicated for the players. Too many game developers try to innovate gameplay for the sake of innovation. Basically, reinventing the wheel. Correct. They should instead refine what works, and save innovating for when there are no existing gameplay mechanics that fit what they're trying to accomplish. Call of Duty, in a fashion, sticks to a formula as well, but it does so across multiple games. There is very little refinement of the gameplay, and the games often throw over complicated mechanics and plot lines at the gamers. Which is why COD seems to be in stagnation, yet games like Doom get a more positive reception. Affirmative, it is possible for games to be too formulaic to the point that they become overly repetitive, and thus induce franchise fatigue. Also, how often do Call of Duty games come out in comparison to Doom games? For COD it's at least once a year, and the last time a Doom game was released was back in 2004 with Doom 3. So, you understand it now? Yes. The Doom franchise hasn't been played out yet, but the Call of Duty franchise had been overdone. The annual release cycle just doesn't give the developers the time they need to breathe new life into the same overused gameplay mechanics. Precisely. Thanks, Fanbot. This really helped me understand what was going on. You are welcome, Mistress Chloe. I'm still not comfortable about leaving you without some protection. Don't worry, I know how to handle Lelia. Everything she knows she learned from me. That's why I'm worried. She also knows you too. Your weaknesses. What makes you tick? There's one thing about me she was never able to learn. What is that? How to be flexible. How to think on your feet and adapt to changing situations. Ilya was often easily frustrated when faced with challenges that required her to adapt quickly. Frustration makes her angry. And when she gets angry she gets sloppy, makes mistakes. And, I know exactly what buttons to push to get her there. Just be careful. Don't worry, I know what I'm dealing with. We've met. He knows I'm in town. Your assignment was to eliminate the target, not to have a chat with him. If it were that easy, why didn't you do the job yourself? Taking down one of the most powerful avatars of the gaming world isn't an easy task. He's the last one. All of the others have fallen. Yeah, and look at the price paid for those victories. I doubt your boss is ready to die just yet. Just remember, you do this and we leave Chloe alone. Just remember, that if anything happens to her before I get the job done all of your lives are forfeit. You're in no position to issue threats. That wasn't a threat, it was a promise. Write dialogue here. Threaten Chloe and the professor, will they? Maybe it's time to show them why I am called the Nightmare Queen. 